A clef is a symbol that indicates how to read a particular staff. The lines and spaces each represent a note, and the clef will tell us which one it is. The lines and spaces can continue above and below the staff. We call these ledger lines. There are three basic clefs that are used in modern music, and they're the G clef, the F clef, and the C clef. Why do we need different clefs? Why can't we just use the same one for all music? The main purpose of the clef is to make reading easier for instruments and voices that have different ranges. We want to write as many notes on the staff, not above and below. The G clef is by far the most common clef in modern music. The treble clef is a type of G clef. That's because the G line passes through the curl of the clef. We can then read the clef based on that knowledge. The lines of a treble clef from bottom to top are E, G, B, D, and F or every good boy does fine. The letters of the spaces of the treble clef spell out face, hence the mnemonic device faces in the space. There is, however, one commonly used variation to the treble clef. It's used for the tenor voice. Some clefs may be seen with a subscript eight. This indicates that the clef is to be read an octave lower than written. The only F clef used in modern music commonly is the bass clef. Much like the G clef, the F clef indicates where the F line is on the staff. The two dots that are in the clef go on either side of the F line. The lines for this clef are G, B, D, F, and A, or Great Big Dogs Fight Animals. However, a lot of people remember it by Good Boys Do Fine Always. The spaces for the bass clef are A, C, E, G, or All Cows Eat Grass. When the treble clef and the bass clef are written together, connected by a bracket, it's known as the grand staff. This is used almost exclusively for the keyboard instruments, such as organ, piano, or harpsichord. And finally, as a point of interest for most people, the C clef. The C clef, as you can probably guess by now, tells us where C is on the staff. In the case of the alto clef, which is the most commonly used C clef, it's the middle line. The lines on the alto clef are F, A, C, E, and G. The spaces, therefore, are G, B, D, and F. I personally have never heard any mnemonic devices for the alto clef. However, the internet suggests fat animals call elephants gorgeous for the lines, and good boys don't fight for the spaces. So if that helps you out, awesome. If not, that's all I got. So that's the basis of clefs. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll see you next time on 2 Minute Music Theory. Music